Well, joining me now is the Labour MP and spokesperson for Open Britain that's campaigning against a so-called hard Brexit, Neil Coyle, and the Tory MP and prominent Lever Peter Bone. Good evening, both Good evening. of you. Peter, if I could come to you first, I know you're in a good mood about these mood. overall net migration me, figures. I'll try not to, but I'll use facts <laughs> if I may. Um, we'll come to that bigger picture in a moment. But as our film showed, the problem of non-EU migrants overstaying in the UK seems to have been widely overstated. And what I want to understand from you is how are we in a position where the Home Office has been using bogus data? Well, I don't know you can actually say that. I mean, I think they're having an inquiry to see what the situation is. Well, the but very I... fact they've called an inquiry would point to the fact that there is a problem. Well, I, I think it needs, you know, it's good to look at it. But today's figures There must are, be a problem, uh, then. We shall see. But, now, don't upset me now. Um, the, the, thing, the, the real point today about the figures is the fact that we've seen this huge drop in net migration by 80 odd thousand, uh, lowest for three years. There's still an awful number of people coming in. Sorry, could, uh, could you just address? I'm going to come to that point. Hmm. I made that very clear. Could you just address my question, which is we, we are aware of the fact there's going to be an inquiry. You've said that. Hmm. But is it not concerning to you and to the rest of the UK that there has been misleading data that has been coming through the Home Office? A big part of Theresa May's standing up and talking to people about these migration figures has been that there is an issue, especially with students, they were used regularly, overstaying their visas. We now know it's tiny. The figure is tiny. Well, I, I don't know where you're saying everyone was talking about students. I've never been talking about students. My constituents weren't talking about students. Your, your leader was. We just showed a clip of her. Well, the, well, the issue out there in the country, and however much the BBC wants to remove away from, these are really good news story today. We are coming the to this, but you don't seem to be able to I, answer I, my question. Well, I can answer your question. There is going to are be you not concerned at all about that? This but data I've never been, been concerned about students coming to this country and leaving it. So I, I, I can't be concerned about something I was never concerned about. But your leader has been. OK, well, let me put you a different question and see if you can answer this one. She was the Home Secretary for six years. A lot of people say she had a very good reputation in yes, that right job. There, yes, you're right, Well, that's not my view, but oh. some people oh, would she, say you, that. Oh, you think she was a good Home some Secretary? Some people would say that. I'm not here to have views, you're here to answer questions, and I'm trying very hard to get some answers. So let me put it to you this. Does this... Do these figures and the fact that they are in this position of review not show the Theresa May that we have looked at as a strong and stable Home Secretary in a damaging light? Not at all. I mean, I... I... I don't know why you've got this great idea that, that there was a big issue about student numbers. It, it just wasn't there in the country. And I've always been very relaxed about it. It's right that they're included in the figures because that's how the international data You're is You're very prepared. relaxed about a figure that has been shown to now be misleading, as we well, understand it. Which figure's it. been misleading? The figure about the number of students well, what overstaying. Number? Which particular figure? OK, let which, me just bring in yeah, the... Yeah, no, no, tell me which no, particular in figure. The sense I'll tell you, Peter, I'll tell you. Peter. Because, because your party, your government and uh, some of the press that support you have been saying for many years that about 100,000 people who were unwelcome and were overstaying and shouldn't be here and there was a problem. And that has been exposed as an utter falsehood, as has much of the campaign that you and others were part of to leave the European Union. No. You should be ashamed and you should be very worried that Theresa May was so closely associated to something that has been proved to be utter rubbish. OK, that's the point. What do you say to that, Peter Well, Bain? first of all, I never campaigned in a disgraceful way about student numbers because I've been very relaxed about the student situation. What the problem has been is free movement from the European Union. That's been the issue. And we've seen today encouraging signs that there's a fall in the number of people okay, coming... OK, Peter Bone, you don't want to address that fact, but you do want to address that, so let me bring Neil Coyle on to it. Peter Bone's in a celebratory mood. Many people today, the majority of the country, voted to leave the European Union, see these figures and say this is the right direction of travel. You surely see today as a bit of a democratic victory for those people. Um, I, I'm unsure what the celebration is for because what Brexitus is showing us with more Brexitus, Brexitus more people from the, the you know the, the, the rest of the other EU countries leaving Britain um, is damaging because they are leaving paid jobs and, and leaving making a contribution to our country. So do you not I want think, these people to leave? I want I want you know our economy to be the best in the world. I want more people to come and live it and contribute to but our what about economy, British people and who I need want jobs? them to be confident that they can come here. Where, where British people can be trained and can, can fill roles, absolutely support that for so the future. So you don't but, want these people but, to leave? But the simple truth is, in the construction sector, in the leisure sector, in the food and farming sector, there are massive vacancies. Hang that, on a moment. That, Hang that, on a moment. Did you or did you not, not tweet today? That, the... Did you or did you not tweet today, Neil Coyle, that anti-Brexit campaigners 
are the real patriots absolutely, yourself. Absolutely. Well, it's hardly patriotic if you want a load of people who aren't from this country to stay here and take jobs away from people who are British it's and born here, but is you're, it? You're assuming they're taking jobs away from people, and I don't think they are. And that's the, well, that's there, the, there are a finite that's... amount of jobs, aren't there? Yeah, and, and if you look at the uh, uh, you know, uh, Food and Drink Federation report that shows a third, a third of their members are worried about having to close as a result of not having British workers to fill those well, why jobs. Why don't now, they pay now, people want, better the reason, maybe they'll the reason, get British workers? The reason I make, made that tweet it's about... market forces. The reason I made that tweet about uh, being a patriot is because I am proud that people want to come to our country to live, to study, to work, to contribute. And I'm proud of the contribution they've made to my constituency and to our country. Well, Peter and I Bone, think we should be very worried about the people who are leaving and the message they're sending okay, and the jobs they're point. taking out of our country. Because that's the other side of this. To think that these are people who are leaving jobs that will be filled by British people is a mistake. Some of them are taking jobs that simply will well, not you, be replaced in this country. You simply can't prove that at the moment. Well, that is your take on it. Peter well, Bone, in my you're, constituency you're, I can. you're unpatriotic as a Brexiteer. People are leaving. We're making, we're making Brexitus happen and it's terrible for all those people. You're an unpatriotic man. Well, Neil's entitled to his opinion. I've uh, been called a lot lot of things in my time by the extreme left and uh, just another one today I mean if he's the extreme left sorry what are you I, I, I'm the centre ground right. and um, the, the British people voted in a referendum a great democratic um, debate and it was it was wonderful and the result at the end was to say we come out of the EU and we want to see immigration reduced and that's what's beginning to happen we're still a long way off from well, it you've There's... got to those figures in the end even well, if you avoided well, answering my first questions Peter Bone Neil Coyle, thank you very much.